Hi, this is Manos Brilakis and this is case 157 for the manual of CTO interventions. This is a case of retrograde CTO PCI in which uh, the wire went through a septal retrograde but the microcatheter would not cross and this case illustrates several options for dealing with its challenge. Dual injection showed a CTO of the mid-right coronary artery. The occlusion length was about 50 millimeters. The proximal cap was clear. Distal vessel was diffusely diseased and actually the distal cap was at the bifurcation of the PDA and the posterior lateral vessel. There were good collaterals from the LAD, the septal collaterals to the posterior descending artery. Therefore, based on these characteristics, our plan was to first try with undergrade wiring and if that failed, switch to retrograde. ADR was not an appealing option because there was a stent in the distal RCA that could make re-entry very challenging. Undergrade wire escalation was done, AL1 guide, guide extension, microcatheter, several guide wires, Gladius and Gaia second, but unfortunately the guide wires entered the subintimal space. They're clearly outside the previously placed distal right coronary stent. We therefore changed to retrograde crossing. We were able to engage uh, the first septal, did an injection, there is significant tortuosity. We did surfing that um, was not successful. And then uh, we tried uh, with the SUO3 guide wire. And the SUO3, which is a very soft uh, tip guide wire, had some difficulty, but eventually successfully crossed uh, from the septal all the way into the posterior descending artery. And this is one wire that requires patience. It's very soft, but sometimes it takes a little time for it to cross the septal. We confirmed distal true lumen position of the guide wire, but then we had the problem we could not advance a microcatheter through that septal. So what to do? There are different things that can be done to try to deliver the microcatheter, or if all of this fail, then there are other options like using the guide wire that is already in the retrograde to lumen to try to do retrograde to do true lumen crossing. Unfortunately, that was not an option in our case because the SUO3 is a very soft wire, doesn't have much penetrating power. Another option is to leave the retrograde wire as a marker for an undergrade wire to get through. And the third option is to use another collateral, which is actually what was done in this case. We also tried to deliver the microcatheter here by uh, trying to rotate it. We did use a guide extension to increase the support. We did try several microcatheters, Turnpike LP, Corsair Excess, Caravel, Finecross. Unfortunately, none of them would cross. We did try 135 centimeter long microcatheter. We did try to dilate it with a 1.0 millimeter subfire pro balloon, but this did not cross either. And then we were not able to get the wire far enough to do undergrade anchoring or to exchange it for a stiffer wire. So after multiple fail attempts, we decided to try to cross through another septal. This was the third septal. The wire went through, but then it was very challenging. Surfing failed. An injection demonstrated significant tortuosity. It appears that that septal may actually at some point get to the same area of entering into the PDA than the previous septal. So we eventually decided to abandon this and try for a more distal septal collateral. So this was now a third septal. We used a workhorse guide wire to enter that uh, septal branch. This was a turnpike LP microcatheter that was then advanced over this wire. And then uh, this is uh, a SUO3 guide wire, and this time, very easily, it did cross into the right posterior descending artery. But the best part was that the microcatheter, the turnpike LP, very easily crossed as well through the septal uh, all the way to the posterior descending artery. So the problem of um, microcatheter and crossable septal was solved by using another septal in this particular case. After this was achieved, we were able to use a Gladius guide wire to try to wire retrograde. And that uh, wire made good progress, uh, advancing close to the uh, mid-RCA and close to the uh, wire that is in the undergrade portion of the vessel. We finally did a, a guide extension, reverse cart. This is a guide extension. This is the retrograde guide wire. 
And then after multiple attempts and repositioning the guide extension, we were able to redirect the retrograde gladius into the guide extension. The wire was then trapped into the guide and then the turnpike LP advanced, followed by externalization of an R350. Balloon angioplastic was done, restoring undergrade flow. There was disease in the posterior lateral and that is why that branch was wired. And then um, a kissing balloon inflation was performed. It is important to not um, lose uh, a major branch like this during CTO canalization. And after the kissing balloon inflation and placing an additional stand distally, we did have a nice final result with Timothy flow in the right coronary artery. Final injection of the left coronary demonstrates uh, some dissection and perforation of the first septal that we tried to cross with the microcatheter without success, but the other two septals are okay. And that illustrates that sometimes if there's a lot of resistance to crossing a septal, it may be best to just switch for a different septal than to persist with different means trying to cross this vessel. A nice final result was achieved in the right coronary. So in summary, there is uh, an algorithm for crossing a collateral with a microcatheter if uh, the originally selected microcatheter does not go. Briefly, the options are to use uh, more support, such as a guide extension on the retrograde guide, use different microcatheters, either a small profile, uh, torqueable and non-torqueable, and try to modify the collateral, for example, by gentle dilation with a 1.0 millimeter balloon. But if all these efforts fail, one option is to try to cross with the retrograde wire into the proximal true lumen if the occlusion is very short, which was not uh, feasible in this case, or otherwise try for a different collateral that will allow crossing with a microcatheter as was done in this space. Thank you very much.